Okay, so let's say they gave you the equation. Given x minus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 36. And they want you to find the center and the radius. Well, this is your h right over here, so I'll write this in blue for you. So this is your h and this is your k. And so the center is going to be the point hk. However, if you were given the point, the center, and you plugged it into the equation where you have x minus something and y minus something, in that case, if you got a positive, that means you must have had a negative number. So basically, all you got to do is remember this, and trust me on this, switch the sign of the h. So in this case here, it's going to be a positive 2. And this right here, this is a positive 6, so just make it negative 6. And your radius, well, this right here represents r squared, right? Because the circle equation is this, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. So this represents r squared. We want just the r only. So what we do is we set r squared equal to 36, take the square root of both sides, and you get r equals 6. Not plus or minus 6, just 6. Radius is always positive. Okay, so now how about this one? Given this equation, you want to find the center and the radius. Again, write your parentheses. Here's your h, here's your k. Take the opposite sign, you get negative root 7. And over here, you're going to change the sign, and you're going to get a positive 3 fourths. Okay? And now for your radius, well, this represents r squared. So r squared is equal to 8, square root property, and you get r is equal to square root of 8 which is equal to root 4 times root 2, which is equal to 2 root 2. Okay, let's do some other examples. All right, let's say we were given, let's say we were given a center equals 2, 1, and let's say we were given a point on that circle, 8, 9. So what you want to do is, step one, use the distance formula. And then step two is plug everything in. Okay, so we need a radius. We just don't know what that is. So what we're going to do is use a distance formula, and if you don't know what that is, it's uh, d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared, and the square root of all that. Okay, so in this case here, our center is going to be our x1 our y1, and this is going to be our x2, y2, and at the same time, this is going to be h and k. Okay, because the center is hk, but for right now, we're going to call it x1, y1. Okay, so we'll go ahead and calculate this out. So x2 minus x1, so 8 minus 2. So 8 minus 2, quantity squared, plus y2 minus y1, so that's 9 minus 1. So that's going to be 9 minus 1, quantity squared and the square root of all that and we're going to get the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared and that's going to be equal to the square root of 36 plus 64 and that's going to be equal to the square root of 100 and d is going to be equal to 10 so the distance really is actually the radius okay so just so you see that, the radius is what we're looking for. So the radius is going to be equal to 10. Okay, good. So now what we want to do is put this in the standard form of the equation of a circle. So let me just put that like that. So we're going to have x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. So we need something here here and here. 
So in this case here we have x minus, and our center is going to be hk, so x minus h, which is 2, so x minus 2 quantity squared plus y minus k, which is 1, quantity squared is equal to r is equal to 10, so that's going to be 10 squared. So we're going to get x minus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to 100. And that's basically it. So let's do one more problem that's a little bit more difficult. And let's see what happens. So now let's say we're given given a center of 1, negative 1, and we're given a point on that circle at root 3, root 3. Okay, so again, step 1, use the distance formula, okay, and then 2, just plug it all in. Okay, so let's do this. So this is going to be our x1, y1 for now, and this will be our x2, y2. In a little while, this will be our h, and this will be our k. So let's go ahead and use a distance formula, which represents the radius of the circle. And so that's going to be the square root of x2 minus x1. So that's root 3 minus 1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1, which is root 3 minus a negative 1 quantity squared. And we're taking the square root of all that. So we're going to get radius is equal to, and here we're going to use the square double square, squaring of a binomial. So we're going to get the square root of 3 minus 2 times the product of the 2. So that's 2 rad 3. And this one is positive 1 plus, let's see, we have 3 and this is going to be double negation, so that will be positive. So that way it's 3, so double the product of the 2, so that's going to be plus 2 root 3 plus 1. And, and if you don't know what I just did here, you need to review the video that I have on square double square. And that will kind of show you how to score by number. You can FOIL this out. You can write this out and FOIL it out. You can write this out and FOIL it out. So you can write this root 3 minus 1 like this. Root 3 minus 1 times root 3 minus 1. I encourage you not to do that and then go ahead and use FOIL. Okay, but that just takes up too much time. So, okay, so we have negative 2 root 3 and positive 2 root 3. So these cancel out. And we have 3 and 1, which is 4. 3 and 1, which is 4. So 4 and 4 is 8. So rad 8 and so r is equal to 2 rad 2. Okay so now this is going to be your r so r is equal to 2 rad 2 and you're going to use the equation of a circle to plug it all in. Okay so now x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared so we need something here, here, and here so we're going to get x minus now h is going to be 1 quantity squared plus y minus k which is negative 1 so that's going to be negative 1 quantity squared is equal to r which is 2 root 2 so that's 2 root 2 quantity squared and we move everything up a little bit more and so we're going to get x minus 1 quantity squared plus y double negation that's plus plus 1 quantity squared is equal to distribute the, uh, well you're not really distributing but any square the 2, square the root 2, so this is going to be 4 times 2 which is going to be 8 so this makes this 8. Okay? So anyway, um, I hope this helps and be sure to check some of the other videos. I know this kind of, you know, was kind of long but um, uh, you should get the understanding. I covered enough examples that you would normally get on a test. This one will be considered difficult to some students, but um, usually the other ones were a little bit easier. 
but for the most part this is uh, pretty much every example you would normally find in an algebra textbook. So good luck with your homework and tests in the future and thank you for watching.